Hi, Joel Friedlander here from thebookdesigner.com. Now today I want to talk about bookstore distribution and the reason is that uh, many, many times I've had authors say to me, you know, I really want to sell my books in the bookstores because after all this is a book that is good for everybody or uh, maybe their market is everybody who breathes. So that's really not the way that we usually sell self-published books. We usually sell them more as niche books, which is a lot easier to do. But I thought it was worthwhile talking about what it is that makes it difficult for self-publishers to sell their books in national bookstores uh, because of the way the book distribution system is set up and that's just something we have to deal with because it's set up to service large publishers and large wholesalers, big operators in business to business type transactions. So it's been frequently said since uh, Dan Pointer probably was the first one to say it, that bookstores maybe are not a great place for self-publishers to sell books and I would have normally agree with that uh, and I've counseled many people that the same way. So today I'm going to show you exactly why that is. So let's say you have a book and I bet you do. So there are lots of different kinds of books you can create and uh, right now it's very popular for self-publishers to create print-on-demand books. Uh, you know, uh, you can get into them, no risk. They do happen to cost a lot more than offset books though. And the whole uh, type of self-publishing you do changes when you do print-on-demand because after all you don't really have that much money invested in it and you can try stuff out. And that's one of the great things about it. But here's the problem. Print-on-demand books cost a lot. We have to be able to produce a book uh, that can sell at retail pretty much basically at about eight times the raw cost of the book. And that's what we usually uh, call paper printing and binding. So if you look at a print-on-demand book, if you go at eight times the cost of a print-on-demand book, uh, you're going to be priced out of the market. They just can't do that. For instance, my typical book that I use for comparisons is a 200-page, 6 by 9 paperback. Uh, and um, at most print-on-demand vendors, that's going to cost about 350 to produce that book. So you can quickly see that at eight times, we're talking about a $25 paperback, and nobody's going to buy it. So there, these books that can, be, uh, that can generate this kind of ratio of eight, retail price of eight times the cost, you could see you could work it backwards because if you had a book and you wanted to retail it, let's say for uh, $14.95, you're going to know exactly how much you're going to have to spend for that book. And it's going to be a lot less than the three fifty you're going to pay at um, a print-on-demand vendor. Okay, so if you're following along so far, what I'm trying to say is you need a book that will yield a large spread in your profit margin, and here's why. Because the other thing you need in order to sell the bookstores is distribution. And that means you're going to have to sign with a distributor. Now, I'm not talking about having your book sold by Ingram or Baker and Taylor. That's great, and that's a great way for self-publishers to go. What I'm talking about is actually signing with an exclusive distributor, sometimes called a master distributor, somebody who can actually put your book into hundreds or thousands of bookstores because that's what national distribution means if you want to sell to bookstores. So if you do that, you're going to have to give up 65 to 75% of your retail price in discounts because of the whole chain of discounts that your book has to go through from the distributors to the wholesalers, uh, maybe jobbers, down to the retailers, and everybody gets their piece of the pie, and you're left with about 25 to 35% of whatever your retail price is, and that's why your book has to have that leverage in it, because otherwise you will not make any money in publishing. Okay, so you have to have those two things in place, but if you think about it, what do we have? We've managed to create the book. We brought the book in, let's say, and it's gonna be offset printed, and it's going to cost you money. It's going to cost you several thousand dollars to print those books in advance. And that's part of the deal of getting this bookstore distribution because you have to print offset to get the price. Now, so we've produced the books and now we've got distribution. So we have a way of getting our books out to all the retailers out there where people like to sell their books, whether they're online or offline. 
because we need retailers to do the sales transaction for us and they are far down the uh, chain of distribution. But this is an incomplete picture, isn't it? We've got books and we've got them in, spread out. Where are the people? Who's going to buy them? Yeah, that's right. You need another piece. You need to not only get books into the bookstore, you've got to be able to drive people into the bookstore to buy the books. Okay, now you're a self-publisher. Maybe you live in uh, San Rafael, California, near where I live. How are you going to get people in Cleveland or Fort Lauderdale, Florida, or North Carolina or Maine to go into their local bookstore and buy your book? Because that's what national distribution means. You've got books all over the country. Now, you know, when you get this to work, it can be very powerful and you can sell a lot of books. So how are you going to do that? You're going to have to have a, a really serious marketing plan. You can't just go and spend all this money, thousands of dollars, without having some kind of plan about how you're going to do it. And believe me, you're going to need that marketing plan to be able to sell the distributor on taking you on because distributors don't like taking books from single title publishers. It's a lot of work for them unless they're convinced there's some reason they should do it. So not only that, you're going to have to hire uh, marketing help or a publicist. And guess what? That's going to cost a lot more money too. Now you're going to be doubly invested in it because you have uh, offset printing and you've got publicity costs. But not only that, they're going to tell you right up front, you have to have a professionally produced and designed book. So you have to have design and you have to have a, a cover artist. And that means more expense and investment up front. And by this time, you can see that uh, just putting this together is why self-publishers trying to pursue this type of thing, and you know, inevitably there's going to be a launch involved in this because there's so much money invested. There's only a small percentage of people in this sweet spot where it all overlaps, and you get all three of these things that line up. Now, even at that point, you have to realize there is a substantial risk to doing this. You know, maybe the book won't catch on. Maybe something else, some news event will happen and just obliterate your whole launch period. You know, you never know what's going to happen. You can't guarantee it. So what we've got is we have to have the right product that works in the system. And it has to be professionally designed. Otherwise, you're dead in the water. You have to be able to sell a distributor to take your book and put all that uh, energy into moving it out into the stores. And you have to have the marketing, publicity, and maybe even advertising. We don't want to talk about that, do we? Um, to actually drive the media attention you're going to need to get enough people to move all over the country to actually buy the book. Because guess what? You're now in a retail bookstore. If your book doesn't sell, well, you're going to get six weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks, and then it's going to be out of there and they're all going to be returned. So this is why we say <laughs> bookstores maybe are not the best place for self-publishers to sell books. There are a lot of other ways to sell books uh, that can be very profitable. Now, when this works, it can be pretty powerful, and you can sell a lot of books and make a lot of money. But uh, it's a very risky move. You need a lot of professional help. You need to be able to coordinate that or hire somebody who can do it for you. And that's why we say that bookstore distribution is uh, not the best place for self-published authors.